Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to discuss about introduction related to map interface. See here, our title is introduction to map. We knew that in entire collection framework, we have two types of container objects. One is collection another one is map. With the help of java.util. collection hierarchy, we can able to represent the data in the form of value format. But if you comes to the map, we can able to represent the data in the format of what key and value. So, what is the uh, difference between value format as well as key and value format. For example, if I am writing the code like, if I am writing the content like 101 RAM, RAM core java, core java NIT and 7000. If you observe this one, see whenever we read this data, like 101 RAM core java NIT 7000 means, I know about this data. So, what is the meaning of this data? 101 is employee ID, RAM is the faculty name and he deals with core java in respectable organization like Nares IT by taking the fee like what here 7000. If I hand over this information to some other guy, the person who do not know me, that guy may be think like 101 is one student ID and Ram is the student name and he learn core Java in Narayasai technology by paying 7000 rupees. See content is same, but meaning is different from one person to another person. So, if you want to provide the more readability about this content, we should go for concept like what map concept. So, this is belongs to C to represent this to represent this data in value format, we have a we have a interface that is what collection under that we have set under that we have list under that we have queue. With the help of these uh, three sub interfaces, we can able to represent the data in the form of what only value. But here readability is missing. To provide the readability, we should go for concept like what key and value format. Now, for example, if I am writing like employee ID like 101, okay. Now, employee name, what is that? Ram, employee name is Ram. Now, next one, employee age, employee age 30 and employee cell, employee cell like 7000, teaches or subject, subject, what is that? Core Java and institute like narration. So, now if you hand over this information to anyone, then anyone can easily understand the meaning of this data. So, everybody got a same meaning about this content. Everybody can analyze, yes, this data is belongs to purely belongs to what your employee. So, ID is employee ID is what 101 employee ID is what 101 and employee name is Ram and age like what year 30 and he deals with what and getting the salary like what year 7000 and deals with what year core Java 
and in respectable organization like what here Nares IT. See, everybody can read this information in the same manner, nothing but everybody getting what here same meaning of this content. So, if you want to represent the data in the format of uh, key and value, we should go for a concept like what here map. So, this is available in one package like java.util.map, java.util.map. Now, object here. So, here the combination of key and value, the combination of key and value we can call as one entry, we can call as what here entry. The map may be contains one, more than one entry, nothing, to, nothing but a collection of entries. So, here uh, entry is nothing but the combination of key and value pair of data. Now, this we can also represent, we can represent this data with the support of one interface. What is that interface? Map dot entry interface. What is that? Map dot entry interface. Clear. Now, uh, how many ways can we able to represent key and value format? Means lot of ways like by using with the help of hash map we can represent, with the help of linked hash map we can represent, represent and with the help of tree map, with the help of tree map we can able to represent and with the help of identity, identity hash map we can able to represent, with the help of weak hash map we can able to represent and with the help of hash table and with the help of uh, properties like this lot of ways we have and we have concurrent maps also by using all these maps we can able to represent the data in the form of a key and value pair of combinations clear so very simple all these all these are implementation classes of all these are implement either directly or indirectly these are what uh, implementation classes of map map implementation classes map implementation classes okay now especially under the map concept we are going to learn all these uh, implementation classes information now before uh, before map introducing into java 1.2 or jdk 1.2 jdk basically collection framework added into the java language in the version of uh, 1.2 before 1.2 we have two classes to represent data in a key and value format, those are what here hash table as well as what here properties, hash table as well as properties. These are the two legacy classes which are useful for represent the data in the form of key and value before Java collection framework as well as what here after adding the collection framework into the Java also. These are what your legacy classes the class which are useful for developing new classes, those classes are called as what here a legacy classes. So, this is the small introduction related to map. In the next video, I am going to introduce a implementation class information of a map. I hope you understand this video. For more videos, please subscribe to channel. Thank you.